Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Baridu and I am the third year class representative for the ULO Society Executive 2016-2017. Today, I'll be shooting the first episode for the third year's Inspire series. I will be asking third year students the question, what advice would you give to first and second year students on how to survive? the LLB. Do enjoy. Hi guys, this is Ayola George, your education and mood chairperson. What advice I would give to you struggling with your LLB? Find a study group. That group of students is going to help you in your prep for exams because no one can read every single case. But when you divide the work, these had to be a group of students you trust. They have to be good students as well. So when you all divide the work, it's going to make it so much easier to cover so much more ground go deeper, you will pass your exams with your study group. If you feel like you're not coming to class, if you're feeling sick or whatever, your study group can help take notes. If you're feeling kind of down, your study group will boost you up. So get yourself a study group and you will pass. Hi, good day. My name is Faith Walker, third year law student here at Cavill Campus in Barbados. I have a lot to share with you as first and second year law students in that my experience would be able to edify you. Now, I'm quite sure that persons would be giving you a lot of law tips and that kind of thing but as someone who would have gone through a de degree before my understanding of life and development is so much more than just academia and what you're doing here so I'd like to share some things about holistic development even here on campus now some research I would have done would have been able to divide the person into different aspects of that would have bro broken down into an acronym named SPICES, which stands for Spiritual, Physical, Intellectual, Cultural, Emotional, and Social Development. And while on campus, I would like implore you to get each aspect of yourself developed. So spiritual, everyone do have some source of um, supernatural being that they adhere to so or, or recognize. And as a Seventh-day Adventist, I must say that going to church, getting involved in Advent Fellowship and looking to God for, as my source of strength has really helped me through my experience because it does get difficult at times, most of the time, and I really want that spiritual connection to know that your purpose here is so much more than just school and this, you have some input in life. Um, the next aspect is physical. I would advise you to get involved in sports, exercise, all these things that helps with your balance of your mind, helps you to focus, gives you energy and these kind of things. Eat properly, drink a lot of water. These things it do help in, in enhancing your experience here on campus and it gives you a better output. I is intellectual and that's the biggest part I would guess in terms of you're here for a degree. So you have to be able to time manage, go to your classes, go to your tutorials, ask questions, make use of the office hours that the lecturer have. Um, one thing I must say I would have learned from my last degree is being able to communicate with the lecturer and know exactly what they want from you. You have a lot of ideas, you're learning a lot of things, you want to go all over the place with your ideas. But it's really important to communicate with the lecturer, find out from them what they need you to know and be able to channel your energies in that direction. Um, that is much better than two weeks before the exam you're asking your peers, what do we do with this information? Get into the offices, talk with the, talk with your lecturers, do the past paper questions, see if they will correct a few. All these things that really help to make studying for exams a whole lot easier. And this way, you have a greater retention and you want to be here to learn and not just pass exams. You want to be able to be of some sort of impact in your community. That's I. Um, C, cultural. Cultural development, you're on a campus where we are diverse culturally. We have persons from all over the Caribbean, we have persons from England, from Canada, as foreign exchange students and so on, and you really want to get a taste of their culture. Use that time to learn persons, learn their culture, learn what they do at home, their language, their foods, and all these things. It would enhance your worldview, which will definitely help you. How you apply the law, how you see the world, it affects the way you put out your work emotionally. That type of development is necessary because as students we do get frustrated, especially as someone, I'm not from here, from Barbados and I know my first week is awesome, new experience, usually every semester the first week is great but the second week you start to miss home and you get a little sad and all these things. You need to know how to manage 
those emotions there are the, the health services some persons will be able to counsel you um, even talking with persons most times what you're feeling you're not alone someone else is feeling that and just being able to share that with somebody that emotional encouragement to get you through the different assignments the different weeks and that kind of thing it really helps so reach out do not underestimate the effect that your emotional um, development has on the impact of your school and the last part social well we all know we all know that's a big part for persons but apart from the partying and those things that persons will know you'll get into um be this is a time to really create lifelong friendships. Um, you would be going to school maybe with an ex-prime minister, with an ex-president, and um, persons who would really develop the Caribbean. So really enhance those contacts so that you would be able to have some sort of network across the Caribbean, as well as a great time to travel, being able to go to different islands. Because from my last degree um, in Trinidad, I know a lot of people from all over the Caribbean, and I have used those opportunities as well to travel and see the island and so, on. so it's not just about the here and now but really creating links for a lifelong um, impact on our career. Um, so I would like to say make sure that you are holistically developed while you're here on campus. Don't just you know stick up in the library. That's important. Manage your time and be able to when you leave here your experience will be a diverse one and you will be able to know that you are different and a stronger and a better person for it. All the best. Hi everyone, I'm Omar. At the time of filming this video, it would have been a third year. And Deshu has asked me, our first year, our third year representative, to give you all some advice and just discuss about my time here at the University Campus. I will start with saying that there's no one that had a harder experience than me. I don't care about the claims that anyone else has, but no, that is my experience. And in terms of law, oh my goodness, you all. You all will experience how difficult it is if you're in second or first year and getting higher up in the, um, the system. But my advice to you all is to have a relationship with God. Or whatever faith you might be, try to grow deeper in that faith and understand that it's not you that have to do it alone, but it is you and God. It is a service you're not doing for your for yourself but for your fellow man so try to put others in front of you I remember that it's not really about you attaining your goals alone it's a team effort despite what it seems and if you all work together you can achieve your goals and anything is possible once you grow deeper in your faith and understand that it's not you alone but God helping you along the way and in terms of my study advice I'll give you all, I was not the best student here, so I will not take that claim. And I know that studying comes differently for different people, so I will just give you all general advice. Listen to your lectures, please. I know we don't do it, and it's something that should be done. Also, try to pay more attention to tutorials and actually attend tutorials. Try to listen for the key points the lecturers emphasize on, that's a very important thing. If you're aware that they're trying to get us to understand a particular topic, more than this is a key factor in the exam that's going to help you to pass. And lecturers actually do want you to pass, despite the myth that you know we think that they want us to fail. They have our best interests at heart, and they're willing to help us once we make the effort to help ourselves. I really do hope that you all enjoy your time here at the University of Cato campus. Most of us here are in our 20s or maybe late teens, and these are supposed to be some of the best years of our lives. And I know it is a struggle here, it's a lot of hardship, but believe me when I tell you that this is going to be the happiest time period of your life. So please enjoy. My name is Justin Boyce, and I'm a third year law student here at Cave Hill. I was asked to speak to the first and second years to give guidance on surviving the LLB program. Um, I will start with the first year students. You may be thinking you're new to law and for some of you this is the first time doing law or anything related to it. And my first advice to you is to enjoy the program. Yes, it may be difficult, yes it may be new to you, but you need to have balance and you need to enjoy the program. If you don't enjoy the program, it will show in your work. 
So my first bit of advice to you is when you're doing this program, organization is your best friend. It's essential that you organize your time to have both a balance between fun activities and making sure your work is done. How you start usually indicates how you will end. Well, my advice to the second years isn't too late, but as a general observation, usually coming from first to second year, some students believe that, you know, since it did so well, the second year is going to be a breeze, and they soon find out that it's not as easy as they think. So I will just ask people to, you know, humble yourself and realize that first year is completely different to second year, and you need to work even harder. For me, without God, success in this LLB program would not be possible. He's the one who helped me through the difficult periods and times where I felt like I would fail exams. He's the one who helped me through and I would encourage anybody to go to him. On that note, just remember that your LLB program is merely a chapter in your life. Take it seriously but not to the point where it is detrimental to your mental, physical or spiritual health. Be kind to each other around the faculty, be respectful, and just remember that these, your colleagues, are the colleagues that you will have in the rest of your life. God bless and enjoy your LLB program here at KFL. Thank you. Hi, my name is Josanne Hackett, and what advice I would give to first and second years trying to survive their LLB? Um, point number one, Find your own momentum. In terms of studying, find what suits you. So basically, at first year, try to find something or find your way of studying. Don't try to, you know, use other person's way of studying because at the end of the day, is what benefits you the most. Number two, um, don't get caught up in the competition of your LLB. There can only be one person at the top of the class. What you have to ensure is that you do your very best to make your LLB successful and try to get out being successful. And lastly, whoever your supreme being is, put him at the forefront because you would need to rely on him or whoever, whether it be God as a Christian, to survive. Rely on him, pray, and you will be successful in your LLB. So those tips I would give to first and second years trying to survive their LLB. My name is Kennedy Jordan, I am a third year student and we were supposed to be giving you advice for how to deal with mom because it, it could be a lot. Um, university is supposed to be a good experience, a positive experience and it's supposed to you know, give you a new and different aspect on the world, life, people, what's not. Um, but it's also challenging and for some people it's more challenging than anything that they've ever done and I was one of those people because I came from a background where I could not study, do the exam, pass good grades and everything and when I came here law just it hit me like a ton of bricks and everything just changed and I was struggling and I didn't know how to deal with it or how to study or what's not and how to manage so if you're one of those persons, I understand how you feel. I've been there, and my advice to you would be: well, first, meet people. Don't isolate yourself. You know, be open to meeting people because it will not only is it good to socialize, but you can share ideas, you can share notes, you can you, you can help study with each other as a group or what's not. And as as long as you're not when you're not sure of what you're doing or how you're doing or what's So don't be afraid to tell people you need help. So that would be one thing. And the other thing would be don't be afraid to participate in classes. Because personally, I hate when I am wrong. I hate like putting myself out there and then I find out, oh, I was wrong. But it's still good even though you're wrong if you participate because then you're going to get corrected. And it will show that you didn't understand and whatever you didn't understand will be explained. So that will be it's also good to participate. And I've also noticed that with my own grades, classes I participate in more, I tend to do better. So that will be my advice to you.
Good afternoon. My name is David McCoy, and my advice to first and second year law students is simply as follows. Law does not operate in a vacuum. Therefore, the law student cannot operate in a vacuum. Teamwork is paramount to success. Hello, my name is Ashu. I just uh, wanted to tell you, do not overwhelm yourself. Mental health is very serious, and it'll be much better if you just do a little bit of work every day instead of overloading yourself at the last minute. Hi, my name is Deandra and I'm a third year law student. My experience at KFL so far has been amazing. I've met some very interesting people and uh, it's also been a learning experience and a growth experience for me as an individual. The advice I'd give to um, first and some year law students is just to enjoy your time here at KFL. Obviously, be able to balance between social life and school work and know yourself. Know if you're good at studying in groups or if you're good studying on your own. Me personally, I don't like studying in groups, so I find myself better off studying for my exams um, by myself. Um, have fun and always be positive in terms of um, your approach to school work and just focus on, on getting your degree and getting on. <laughs> My advice to first and second year students would be to prioritize your mental health. I'm sure you've all gotten advice on academics and what to do and what not to do. But I think equally important would be your state of mind. And I saw a post a couple hours before I was asked to contribute to this video and I think that it would be helpful to almost everyone. It says that it's okay to take breaks. You're allowed to step away from the desk, make yourself a cup, a cup of tea, take a long shower, watch a movie or bake cookies. You're still succeeding and you're still being productive. Productivity isn't only in seeing results in academic progress, but it means being able to realize when you need to relax and take a break for your mental health in general.